Welcome to the 2021 IPF World Open Equipped Powerlifting Championships. We're here in Stavanger, Norway, and we have a packed program of powerlifting here for you, covering six days of competition. Powerlifting is a sport of three lifts. We start with the squat, move on to the bench press, and finish with the king of lifts, deadlift. We have eight weight classes for men and eight for women. Each competitor has three attempts in each discipline, and we add together the biggest lift in each to make the total. Biggest total wins. The 47 kilo class was all about Yukako Fukushima of Japan. She's recently turned 50, but she is still leading the field in the open class and she led from the start. She opened her squat by breaking an M2 world record and just kept pushing. This is a huge world record attempt. Masters 2, 180 kilos. And it's hard, but she's oh, a fighter. Tough, but she gets there. <laughs> that that was, was so impressive. Tough lift. Gregory, so it's a good lift and a new world record. She took the gold medal in squat, bench and deadlift and took a clean sweep of M2 world records in the process. Wow. I think that looked easier <laughs> than her second. second. I think it did. Unbelievable. Oh, I think she's got it there. That is a world record in deadlift, a world record in total, and the world title for the incredible Yukako Fukushima. In the 52s, Frank Marie Duna of Peru started strong with a massive 192.5 kilo squat, and she brought some great energy to the platform. Right behind her, home nation lifter Karen Hesthammer looked superb with 190. Wow, so she can she can move from fifth to silver with his one lift. And if you look at the two previous lifts, they and were look super. Superb. Yeah, yeah they really were good. Right on point. Uh, that one looked pretty good too. <laughs> He absolutely did. Two, Two to one, but that is good enough. Lift. It's a silver medal for Norway. Look about to 195 kilos, please, for Juno. As we moved into bench, though, everything changed. Egil Sitikova extended her own world record to 165.5. This gave her a 30 kilo advantage, which would prove to be insurmountable. I think she going to get it there. I think she has. I she has. <laughs> what a She's lift. Five kills wow. on her own world record. On deadlift, Britain's Emma Goodwin looked on course for a new world record, absolutely smoking her first and second pulls. But for the first time in her career, heartbreakingly, her grip let her down right at the top. Here we go world record attempt. If anyone can do it, 
It's this young lady. Here it goes. Oh, oh just no, couldn't quite hang on went. to it. Just so couldn't quite hold the you grip. Know she it was had so the close. Strength. The 59 kilo class was always going to be the Sergei Fedosienko show and indeed he took gold in all three disciplines and added yet another notch onto his undefeated streak of 23 world titles. Oh, wow. it convincing lockout made it very clear. It's two to one, gets yep. it on the board, takes home the gold medal and the world championship. As we move into the 66s. In the 66s, hot favourite Sergei Gladkik struggled on squat and fell even further behind Yusuke Satake of Japan when Satake hit a world record bench press of 222 kilos. So 222 kilograms to take the world record. The current world record holder is in this field as well. Very controlled. Well, it looked better than his second lift. I really it is. It. Oh, yes. is the world record and the gold medal in the bench. Gladkeep moved into first though with his 270 deadlift opener. And Hassan El Belgiti of France pulled himself into contention with a monster 300 kilo opener, pushing Satake down into third place. Vit, vit, vit. Well, he ignored me. That was not Vite at all, but it was yeah. steady. Gladkeek cemented his win with 290. So this will give a 795 total. He is in the gold medal position overall. Uh, that was a great lift. Yeah, no problem there for Sergei. And Tsung Tin Se, Chinese Taipei, moved into silver with 300 kilos. The 57 kilo class was a dramatic session. Vargas Vilma Ochoa of Ecuador opened a squat on a Masters 1 world record attempt of 210, but made the risky decision to go up to 217 and a half when her opener was turned down due to lack of depth. Walking the weight out, she never had it fully under control, and it looked like she'd made a mistake that would cost her the competition. Uh, she's really going to have to own this bar and take the old three-step workout. And uh, I think it's too heavy. No, she just can't hold it there. Brazil's Erica Bueno took the M1 record Ochoa had been trying for with 202.5 on her third. But incredibly, Ochoa came back and succeeded on her third where it had looked impossible on her second. And she took the squat gold. Well, she um, moves the weight without any oh, problem. And she She's gets it on the board. She's gone from absolutely nowhere to the gold medal position. Talk about all or nothing. Bueno smashed the M1 bench record by 20 kilos on her opener and then extended her own open world record with 156. Nice and controlled. And I think she's got it. Yeah, I think it's good. Impressive. Kimberly Johnson's second deadlift looked great, which gave her the confidence to attempt 202.5 to take the win. But it stalled halfway and she couldn't quite finish it, confirming Bueno as world champion. Oh, she's, she's got, got it moving. moving. She's got it moving, but oh, she can't quite that. finish it off. She takes the bronze medal. That was though. a brilliant attempt. It's not even knocked a smile off her face. Not no. at all. And Warner safe here as the world champion. In the 74 kilo class, legendary Polish lifter Jarosław Olek showed that he still had fire in his belly after all these years by taking the squat gold with a strong looking 350 kilos. And he maintained this lead all the way into deadlifts. Now the world open record and the world masters one is 370. Is that his? I believe they are both his. Oof. Looking pretty strong at 350, and that is a good lift. However, Norway's Kjell Bakkelund moved into the lead with his opening deadlift. 
plenty of support in the crowd. 2.97 and a half. That well, didn't look tough, did it? Good lift, three white lights. Olek attempted to return to regain first place, but was unsuccessful, conceding the win to Backland, who came out and pulled a triumphant 315 kilo deadlift in front of his home country fans, who absolutely took the roof off here in Stavanger. Well, here he comes. Kill is leading, but there are still dangers to come. Although 315 on the bar. Lift, 315 kilos. He really the needs crowd, to put it on there. The crowd is on their feet. Well, if he doesn't put this lift on the board, he opens the door for Guy Chinets. He does. And the crowd know that. Total rank one at the moment. Deadlift rank two at the moment. And he's got it there. He's I done hope it. So. I hope so. Yes, he, he has. has. He is currently in the gold medal position. Day three brought the hotly anticipated 63 kilo class with a big name battle that was impossible to predict. Taylor LaChapelle of US Virgin Islands moved ahead with a junior world record squat of 237 and a half kilos. What a she got to the top. Has she done enough? She has. <laughs> Big Ben Shigara pulled out a decent lead with a massive 167.5 kilo bench opener. But multiple time world champion and legend of the sport Larissa Solovyova struggled and hit technical fail after technical fail, which took her out of the world championship fight. Oh, what are the referees saying? Oh. That is a no lift. That is a oh. real shocker. Larissa Solovyova is out of the World Championship race. something we did not expect or did not see coming. La Chapelle took the junior total world record with a 2.15 deadlift. This will take it to 6.02. That's a better, yeah, that looks a lot much better. better. Much more convincing. Good lift. But this wasn't enough to stop Gareth storming to her first equipped World Championship win. The 69s also promised fireworks and Germany's Sonja Stephanie Kruger looked superb, opening her squat with a junior world record and taking the open world record with her second of 250.5. Such an incredible young lifter. Oh, look at the strength. Kelsey McCarthy of USVI challenged with an attempt at 255.5, but wasn't quite strong enough on the day. Kruger, however, came out straight after and squatted it successfully for the squat gold and her third world record of the session. Oh, oh that, that is fantastic. Keeping the pressure on, she opened a bench with a world record of 182.5 and made short work of it. It was the only bench she got in, but it was easily enough for the gold. We saw a quick reversal with the deadlifts, however. Kruger took an easy opener to make sure of her world records and Brazil's Ana Rosa Castellane streaked past. Kruger took the world record total with a second pull, but Castellane took it off her almost immediately. Kruger pulled for the win, but missed by a whisker, giving Castellane her fifth world title. Oh, just couldn't so quite close. hold it there. We finished day three with the 83 kilo class and USVI's Paul Douglas made an early impression with a huge 360 kilo squat. Well, it wasn't the cleanest, but it did the job. And it's a good me, Ukraine's Mikola Branik and ROC's Yevgeny Vasyakov 
Traded blows on bench with Vasyakov eventually coming out on top with a huge bench of 270 kilos. And oh, has you know, he he gets it, it to the top. I just wonder how much he's his move then. I could see some movement, but he gets three white lights. It's unanimous. That was a tough press. Yeah, he, he does get a bit of hip movement, the butt, but the butt maintains contact. Baranic led the pack at subtotal, but Douglas shot into the lead with 315 for his deadlift opener. Nice. Yeah, that moved really well. Wow. So, where will he go from there? Going into the final round, there was absolutely nothing in it. Only two and a half kilos covered the top three, with Douglas ahead only on body weight. Well, this will temporarily roll him into the overall gold medal position. So he hit 280, then 295, now looking for 300. Can he project himself into the lead? No, oh, not it's quite. Swung out in front. You can handle a couple of shopping bags getting out of position like that, but when you're talking about 300 kilos. Vasyakov came out to take the win, but missed and gave Douglas his first world championship title. Sorry, no In the 76 kilo class, home nation hero Marta Elverum came under pressure from a young lifter only just out of the sub juniors, Agata Sitko of Poland. Great to see packed hall here today. Walkout was really good and very confident. Locks her elbows in. <laughs> That's superb. What do the referees the say? Referees say it's a good lift. It's a good lift. Initially, though, Italy's Francesca Perello led the way, taking squat gold with 247 and a half. Oh, that came up strong. Into bench and Sitko rocketed into the lead, matching the junior world record of 180, which gave her a commanding lead going into deadlift. Very well done. Elise Mikamagi of Estonia impressed with a sub junior world record deadlift of 200 kilos. Oh, looks good. What did the referees say? Three white lights. But Marte Elverum gave her fans a scare by missing her deadlift opener and really putting a crimp in her world title charge. Chloe Dublin, USVI, a seasoned classic lifter but in her first year in equipment took the junior deadlift world record with 222.5, but Sitko came out straight after and took it back with 225. Oh, I think wow. she's done it. I think she has. Three she white lights. She gets the double. Two for one deal. Elverum came out in front of her home crowd to attempt a huge 260 pull to snatch the win from Sitko, and it came off the floor fast, but ground to a halt at knee level, breaking Norwegian hearts here in Stavanger. In her attitude, she's found an extra gear. Well, this is a huge deadlift. Oh, it moved she's well off the floor. Got it to her knees, oh, but you know what? That was that was she worth the attempt, though. The 105 kilo class kicked off day five, and Danilo Kvalov of Ukraine took an early lead with an impressive 405 kilo squat. A massive 405 kilograms. Oh, he's lost his balance. He hasn't had this good start command, though, so... He still has time. Oh, he settled that well. Wow. Well, I Absolute am blown strength. away by that. I would have expected him to re-rack that and take it again, and he's got he it. Did, he just regained his balance, settled so, himself out and said, give me the command. Tumanyagol Dashzegve of Mongolia took the bench gold and set a new world record with 325, but wasn't really in contention for the overall. Oh, it 
It's looking good. It moved fast. Did he lock out? He does. That he takes a, the world record at 325. New world record on the bench press goal for Tumi Yagal Dajzegre. Absolutely superb. What a way to finish. Reigning world champion Mashintsov overextended at the top of his deadlift and fell backwards. Yeah, need to put this one on and get total registered. <gasps> I saw oh, he just gone lost a long his balance at the, the top there. there. But Kovalov looked superb with his first and second and pulled clear. 327 and a half. This exceeds anything he's done in competition before. But his opener was super fast. I would not bet against this. Well, he needs to do this to keep that distance. And he does. And he does. That's a good lift. Three wide lights. And that puts him in pretty good position now. Mishinsov, however, added an incredible 40 kilos to his second attempt and showed true grit and determination to pull 360 kilos and move into second place. This is seasoned warrior Sergei Mishinsov looking to go up 40 kilos. Well, you know, it's five kilos over his best lift. It's a huge lift. It's, I mean, the 40 kilo jump, but, you know. He's the this guy champion. has done some amazing things in the past. And I've been at competitions and he's done things like this and you're thinking, not a chance, it's not going to happen. Well, this moves him up from, he's guaranteed the bronze. It's moves him up to silver for now. You can see Ian Bell's put a world record on for his third, so we'll have to see how that goes. But first, Sergei Mashintsov. And it's gone. Oh, wow. Does he get the light? He's got it there. Incredible. And now he's making Ian Bell defend that silver medal. Kovalov missed 340 for his third, but he didn't need it to become open world champion in his first world out of the juniors. We finished day five with the 120 kilo class. Sen Yang of Chinese Taipei took two attempts but ultimately nailed a new squat world record of 437.5. As you say, saving the intensity for his third. Yeah, I mean, and this is the point you need to bring it. Well, he got out of shape there. And he kept going down. How is the depth? It is. It is good enough. He gets it on the board with a world record of 437 and a half. The standard was set at 430. He did away with that and put it at 437 and a half. Gets the gold medal on the world record. This gave him a healthy lead, but the competition was fierce just behind him, with only 10 kilos covering the next six lifters. The field started to separate out over the course of bench press and Yang's lead was severely eroded when he only got one bench in and his teammate Chai Sen Tien got all three, ending on 325 kilos and moving him up to second. Well, 325, it's certainly not going to be an easy lift for him. Nope. He had to work a bit for 322 and a half. Crowds behind him and that's the first time we've seen a bit of intensity from him, get that adrenaline firing, just get that little bit more out of the muscles. You don't want to burn that match too early. He saved it for his third round of bench. Start. Press. Well, he's got a nice quick, quick press call. I think that's good enough. It is. It he is. gets it on the board and gets that silver medal. Very nice. Disaster struck when Yang's grip let him down and he dropped 310 kilos three times, forfeiting his world record squat and dropping out of contention. Well, Yang Plus, though, but, having problem hanging on to this one. Let's go. And the other thing here too is his 
world record squat is under threat if he doesn't put a lift on in the deadlifts. That's it. You have to uh, make a bona fide attempt at each lift. Oh, oh he just can't hold it again. This is Sen Yang for 310. His grips if let him down twice. If he doesn't get this, his world record doesn't stand. That's right, and it goes back to being a standard. He doesn't want that. We don't want that. The crowd don't want that. He needs to set that grip and squeeze that like there is no tomorrow. Come on, Sen. Come on. No, it's gone oh, again. Oh, what a shame. Meanwhile, Bichkov's 360 kilo opener shot him into the lead. 17 and a half kilos ahead of Cliff, and suddenly this was a two horse race. Alexei Bichkov, 360 kilos for the man from Ukraine. Note the detail that he's got the blue and yellow laces in his shoes, denoting the uh, Ukrainian national colours. A nice touch. Well, this man knows how to build a total. And you see Tony actually starting to bring a bit more intensity to the platform now. 3.65 on the bar. He's, uh, he's definitely fired up. He's telling himself he's got it. I think I believe him. Yeah, there it is. Wow, how can you not believe that? There's plenty more there. Look at that face, it's believable. Absolutely. Good lift for Tony Cliff. Extends his own uh, British record. He's already in the lead overall. This will move him into deadlift gold as well. He is just shy of 1,100 kilos on his total at the moment. If he gets this, he will be well in there. Well, he needs to get this because if he doesn't, he is at risk. But that opens it up a little bit. Don't you worry about Bitchkoff. So Bitchkoff has currently got 112.5. If Tony gets this, he'll get 1,015. A huge 1,115. That will put him two and a half kilos ahead of Bitchkoff, and then Bitchkoff has got to pull 390 will, to take it back. It will also give him the British deadlift record as well. Oh, just oh, not quite there. Not today, not today for Tony. But he will go home with a silver medal, and he'll be super happy with that. He also goes home with the British total record. He and doesn't need to pull this 390. This is just shy of his current world total record. But this is powerlifting. You're not going to say, well, do you know what? I've won. I'm not going to come out for this. Here he is. He's putting on a show. 390. And what a Look show. That. that is fantastic. That is why he's Good the world champion. Good lift for Bitchcock. That is why he's the total world record holder. He knows how to build a total all day. He just okay, kept chipping away, putting yeah. away. When things didn't go right, he fixed them and chipped away and added more. And look at that massive total. The 84 kilo class kicked off the last day of the championships and Heide Hiller Arneson of Norway gave the crowd a treat by extending her own M2 squat world record to 250 kilos. Let's extend that world record a little bit more. 247 and a half looked great. She's gone up another two and a half. Yeah, you talk about really smart decisions here. You know, this is only two and a half kilos under the previous one. And I know a lot of people are probably thinking she could do more, but you've got to think. You've got a whole day of lifting ahead of you. You want to take the kilos you can get. Shut up! Yeah! Stop! <laughs> it is fantastic. Absolutely beautiful. Absolutely fantastic. She gives the crowd away as she leaves the platform. Meanwhile, Ukraine's Daria Rusinenko broke the junior world record with her second of 265 kilos, but couldn't quite manage 274 for the open record.
So, we so go this 265. is a this is a world record, junior world record. It is a junior world record. 265 on the bar. Oh, it's quick. Oh, that looks good. I think that sure. is. It she is. It. That is a new junior, junior world, world record, record at 265. Canada's Rhea Stin came into her own on bench, pushing up her world record to an incredible 223 kilos. So here we go with Rhea Stin of Canada. She broke her own world record by miles. It was 213, she pushed it up to 218, and now she's looking for another five kilos on top. Yeah, and this, I mean, this 223 is really well planned because it'll give her that extra 0.5 yep. on the total. That's going to come in really handy at the end. Here she comes. A little bit of focus. 223. This will put her in the top three of all-time records. Oh, she has oh, done it. Absolutely. She has it. Superb. She does. Three white lights. Absolutely incredible. What a fantastic <laughs> lift. This gave her a commanding lead going into deadlift. However, things soon changed when Norway's Anna Haranga sailed into second place with an easy-looking 210 for her open. This is where you want to bring that intensity. You've gotten through the day. You've done the last three lifts. This is where you can bring it out. Oh, look at that. And you know what? She was fourth in squat. She was fourth in bench. We Go might ahead. have someone who's just quietly putting a big total together here. Going into the final round, Stin was clearly the new world champion, but the rest of the podium places were not safe. Lightest in body weight, Melnick pulled 200 kilos to get back into silver medal position. It's going. Oh, I and think I she's think done she's it. it. I, I think, think she's she done it. And Rusenko managed a heroic 212.5 for the bronze. It's going to be tough. She missed 205. Lifting for a possible silver medal. But here's Daria Rusnenko in an attempt for the silver. Oh, move fast. I think that's better. I think she might have got it. It was there. It was. She gets Absolutely it on the board. The bar remains. Home Nation hero Haranga attempted 220 for the silver, but it was just too heavy. And she finished off the podium once again with the second, third and fourth places decided on body weight. This will put her back in the silver medal over the top of Rusenenko. Oh, oh she's missed no. it. She's missed it. She cannot do better. It was so close, but she has, she is on the podium. In the 84 plus class, Daria Effentseva of ROC took the junior squat world record with 275 kilos on her second attempt and extended it to 290 on her third, which put her a considerable distance ahead. This was massive. She already has the gold medal in the squats. But this is a really important number, important kilos here because this starts her on a pathway to peg down Huggle. Yeah. Well, it's quick. It is quick. It moved just as fast as the last one. 290 kilos, and she starts That's herself it. to pick down the top runners here. However, Norway's Hildeborg hooked out, jumped into the lead with a massive 215 kilo bench opener. Talk about good benches, of course, she is the current world record holder at 227. Now she's opening at 215, I think there's a fair chance that she's going to try and push her bench on. Well, we'll see how the opener goes. 
She's got to be thinking about the long game, though. Not a lot of range of motion there, which helps as a bencher. I think that's be a good okay. Lead. It is three white lights. Daria fought back with a junior world record of 195 for her second, which moved like a rocket and was enough to keep Hildeborg at bay for the second round. Oh, well, that was never in doubt, was it? I don't think there was an if there. She's definitely got that. To her five, to move just as quickly for Evip Saver's third, and even a new world record of 2.27.5 for Hugdal couldn't get her past. 2.27.5. And this is not just important for the record. No, also she, for the total. If she doesn't get this, she gives Evip Saver a green light to, to roll through. Yeah. I think she's done it. I think so. She, yes, has. she has. She has the world record. New world record for Hildeborg Hogdahl. So Evan Siva takes the silver while Hogdahl takes the gold in bench. Daria's second deadlift of 205 gave her the junior world record total and kept her just ahead. In the final round, she pulled a comfortable 212.5, giving Hugdell a mountain to climb. World junior total record will be extended as well by Daria if she gets this. It's her record already. But, you know, if you've taken the record once, why would you not try and extend it? And, oh... Well, I'm going to have to wait for the referees on this one. Very easy lift for Daria. Oh, that's good. Yeah, that's good. good. Hildeborg put 222.5 on the bar to pull for the win, and the crowd went crazy, but she couldn't get the bar to her knees and had to concede the title to Effin Saver. It is big, big lift. It's yeah. a personal best. Mind you, it's only a personal best by four kilos. We're not talking about adding 20 kilos above what she's done before. We're not. We're not. This should be within reach. It's doable. It is going to take everything she's got right now. Evan Fever is in the gold medal position. This will get a deadlift silver and the world title. Should she pull it? Not oh, quite there. She will have to settle for the silver medal today. The super heavyweight class lifted last, and Ahmed Hassanin of Egypt squatted 470 kilos on his second. And the bar is loaded. Ahmed Hassanin, Egypt. What a massive weight. 470 kilos. He weighed in today at 186.8. He's the biggest man in the field today. And that is reflected in his opener, but I mean, people could catch him. Kanovalov has put the same in for his third. Well, the depth looks better this that time. That looked good to me. Yes, yeah, she gets it on the board. Gets okay. it on the board. The game is on. He called for a world record of 505.5 to be placed on the bar for his third, but it was turned down for depth. 505.5, over half a ton. There are no red plates left in the rack. There's practically no plates at all left <laughs> in the rack. What have we got? A blue, a green, a white. This is a phenomenal amount of weight. Yeah, you just watch this bar bend when he unracks it, ladies and gentlemen. And it takes a lot to bend an Oliko bar. Shifted it without a problem. What about what the, the rest, though? Yeah. Oh, no, not deep enough. No 
That's a shame, man. It's three, three reds, so he cannot protest that. RFC legend Andrei Konovalov tried to take the lead with 470 as he was the lighter lifter, but he wasn't quite strong enough on the day. If the name Andre the Giant hadn't already been used, I think it would suit him very well. Couldn't quite get the speed out of the bottom. Bench was a difficult session with more failures than successes through the field. Konovalov pulled ahead with a massive 362.5 kilo press. This will give him a valuable seven and a half kilos added to his total. Well, he might need that. Everyone's trying to chase him down. He was able to lock out that left. Oh, it's hard right. to tell in the shirt. Oh, he's got it. Look at that. He gets it on the board. Three white lights for Andre Korobolov. What a bench press competition. And Joe Capolino of USVI leapt into second place with his third and only successful bench of 350. And when we're moving into personal best territory here. This is so technical. It's rare that we see someone unable to get the bar to their chest, and I hope that we don't see it now. Come on, Joe. Should get a touch here. Oh, he was giving it. Uh, did he press it? Let's see. That last little bit of luck out. He's yes, dead. He it on the board. And he stays in the game. In the final round, Konovalov came out first and pulled 350, securing his position as the super heavyweight world champion. This is going to take him from 1,150 to 1,165, which will make him a lot harder to catch. Yeah, it'll just put him just out in front, but that second attempt was tough. It didn't look like it really wanted to go all the way. The Russian bear needs to uh, hug this one to his chest and keep hold of it. What's he got? Well, never underestimate the Russian Never Rosberg underestimate him. Yes. He gets that one on the board and goes out to 11.65. He is currently in a gold medal overall position. Shevchenko was next with 352.5, which moved him into second. This will put him into the silver medal overall for now and also into and on the deadlift, deadlift yep. silver. I think that's good. It is. Good left. Three wide lights. Capolino responded by absolutely smoking the same weight to snatch back the silver, but controversially, the lift was overturned by the jury and he had to settle for the bronze. Right now, though, Capolino wants a shot at this silver medal. The Shevchenko is in the silver medal with 11.32. Well, and he is a lot wider than Capolino, so Capolino has to outlift him. He's gone 352. Oh, oh, I don't I'm think not he's certain. Able to hold I'm that. not certain. I don't he tried. I think we're going to see blues here. And Capolino's third lift was overturned, so Shachinko will take the silver and overall, and, and Capolino will take the bronze to tell overall. The jury has overturned the decision on Joseph Capolino's lift. I hope you've enjoyed the action from the IPF Open World Championships. Please join us again next time. <laughs>